Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you another interesting thing. So what we will be doing is we will be utilizing MCP server to make our desktop clutter free. So let's say you have a lot many folders placed here and there in certain directories and you want to just clean it up. You don't want that mess to be handled manually because the one way to do is you can move your folders and the designated folders by your own by dragging it or copying it. But if you want to do it automatically utilizing LLM and MCP server, then there is a very good trick. And I believe just by writing one line of uh, text, we can perform the entire thing and it can save a lot much of your minutes. Uh, so this video is all about MCP server and how we can use file system server to be specific. So if you are new to my channel, I would recommend you to check out my entire MCP uh, playlist in which I have already created two videos. The very first one uh, is demonstrate like why we need MCP server, what are the cases it can handle. And in my second video, I explained about the Azure MCP server. So going ahead with that, let's talk about the file system and how we can deal with file system chaos using MCP server. So in order to get started, Let's go to Visual Studio Code. I will quickly close this one. So the very first thing you need to make sure is that you have the proper Visual Studio Code version installed. So it is always good to go with the latest one, but if not latest, at least it should not be very old. So in my case, I am having version 1.100.2, uh, which is good to go. And the second thing we need is we need to make sure that we have MCP setting enabled in this because if you are using the prior versions you may not have this setting so on the bottom you can see uh, this feature is still in preview and there is a checkbox which is enabled by default but by any chance if it is not enabled you can go ahead and just check this checkbox here so it will let you add mcp servers in your visual studio settings file which is placed here so i will talk about this in a while but before that, let's go ahead and talk about the extension. So uh, in order to perform this activity, I have installed these extensions. So I would recommend you to go and install at least the GitHub Copilot chat extension because this is the one we will be uh, using to perform this entire activity. Okay. So the next thing is I would like to show you my directory. So this is the folder I'm having, which is demo. And here you can see it is having the mix of files, a few PDFs, a text document. We have two uh, PNG and one JPEG file. So what I want to do is I want to move all my PNG files to a certain folder, which we will be creating soon. So the one way to do is you can just create a folder manually by clicking on the new and just move on to these files. But Let's assume that we have lot many files and those all files are of different different types. In that case, we don't want to go ahead and perform this activity manually. So let's see how we can do this. So I'm going to open up my GitHub Copilot chat. I'm already in agent mode and you can select the model you want. I'm with GPT-40. So here I'm going to just give one command. So I have few files uh, placed under a folder named demo and can you move all my PNG files from this folder to a new folder named pd so i'm going to hit enter here and see how it responds so i'm just showing, showing you the default implementation how will it behave okay so it is trying to read the it seems the folder demo does not exist in the specified path could you confirm the folder's location or provide the correct path? So what is happening here is whenever I am giving a command or query to GitHub Copilot, it is trying to relocate the, that thing in this current directory. So in my case or in this particular case, 
uh, this directory somewhere else like I have shown you it is under the C drive user spread whereas my Visual Studio code is not having any directory uh, open like there is no directly which I have opened recently so what we can do is uh, we want to make our things work so the very first thing we need to do is go to edit and settings JSON file and here you can see the MCP tag so let's remove it and here we can go ahead and add a new server so here a few servers I have already added I will quickly close them and I will go ahead and add the new MCP server which will particularly handle my file system related stuff let me quickly paste it over here so this is the new node which I have added here let's save it and here you can see it is all good because that's the reason we are getting the start tag so if I want to reiterate what we have done so far is so make sure that you are placing everything under this MCP which is the key element or the key ex element for the MCP configuration and MCP will be utilizing only this particular tag whenever we want our server to trigger something second thing is the server so under MCP we have server so this is going to hold all the available servers which we want to configure it and under the servers this is the new element which I have added it is file system so this is the name of the server configuration and it indicates that server will interact with the uh, local file system so that's why it is file system then we have the type so type if you don't know what type is there are various types which I have already explained in my very first video of this playlist so just go ahead and check it out but in this case I'm specifying it as stdio which is uh, which means that some server will communicate via standard input output streams and I think it's a very common process whenever we want to deal with any file system related stuff so that's why it is stdio then under the command we are saying npx so this tells the system to use npx to run the node.js model so if you remember in my previous video I mentioned that you need to install node.js in order to run this particular command so make sure that you are having node.js installed and only then this particular thing will work for you so npx is a package runner that comes with node.js and it allows you to run packages without installing them, uh, them globally so it will execute or run that package only in the context of this particular instance or the session next thing is the argument so here we need to supply various parameters so the very first one is why which is just to like provide a consent that okay go ahead and install this package for us then we have model context protocol and server file system so this is the name of the npm package that provides the file system server for mcp and next parameter is the path so this is the path or the directory that the file uh, system server will expose or monitor i don't want to organize my entire uh, machine or all the directories i am just focusing on this particular path or the directory so you can change it as per your requirement and let's go ahead and try this out so I'm going to save this and before that let me quickly validate if it's running okay so no issues here let me stop this and I will grab this particular text once again and open up a new chat session let's trigger this server and yeah click on enter and let's see how is it going so this time you can see that it discovered that there is something called file system MCP server which was not coming earlier so let's go ahead and click on continue here we have these three options which I have already discussed in my previous videos so now it is considering that file system MCP server and this is the path so it is saying there are no files in the folder let me know if you need help so it seems like I need to restart this instance because it is still taking the previous context so I will quickly restart this one let's close this and I will quickly start this file system and let's see how it goes this time 
So it asking, uh, so here you can read the description. I'm not going through it, but what this particular command is doing, it is explaining over here. So you can just, and here is the disclaimer that uh, please keep in mind that it could perform some malicious actions as well. And here you can see that it was able to move the file successfully. So let's quickly go ahead and validate this. So here you can see the new folder got created and it is having these two files which were otherwise placed outside. So this is how you can manage your desktop. So similarly, if you want, you can organize your PDFs and other files as well. But the point here is rather than you are doing manually, you can just type in certain lines of commands and it will do that automatically for you. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me know what other kind of features or the tools or the servers you are looking for. And before ending this, I would quickly want to show you. So if you will click on the search tools here, so it will open up all the tools and here it should have this file system as well. So here you can see this is the file server file system, MCP server file system. And these are the operations which it can perform. So if you're not sure whether it will be able to write your file, read your files, so just check this list and you will get a little bit more clear picture that what it can do. So that's all I have for today. And stay tuned for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.